Hey everyone, Mr. Flores here. This is a quick video on how to use Mon uh, SurveyMonkey to uh, conduct surveys with your students and parents. Um, this is a great way to uh, collect information for um, parent conferences or uh, online content. Fifth grade is going to use this survey to uh, determine which parents got their packets and how did they get their packets. Did they get them online, uh, physical pickup in San Luis, or both? So I'm going to go through this quickly because you have a pause and rewind button on your video. Um, I hope it helps you out. All right, so when you go to surveymonkey.com, you're going to first have to create uh, an account. That's really easy step-by-step -step stuff. When you're at the very end of creating your account, it's going to show you three options to um, uh, purchase um, a paid account. If you want to buy a paid account, you can. It has a little more features, bells and whistles, and things like that. If you don't, you can totally use the free version, and that's what I'm going to show you here is the free version. So to get out of that, it's going to be listing three different options. I'm um, not on that screen now, but what you do is you go up here to the right, you just click on your name, and it's going to bring you to your account info. Um, once you're there, go to this white button here that says Create Survey. All right, so here we go, creating a survey. You click here, create a survey, and we're going to choose Start from Scratch, okay? Uh, you can see that I have my um, survey that I already created. Did you get a packet right there? So when you uh, go to Survey, it's going to show you all of your surveys that you've created in the past. You can view them as a grid or as a list view, okay? And it shows you your responses. You can preview it. This is a really cool website, especially because it's free. So you go to start from scratch, click that survey name. Did you, <clears throat> you receive, whoops, receive a packet week 30 and 31. Uh, this is going to be for um, te uh, what we call this uh, video example. <clears throat> so I can delete this later. All right, survey category. What kind of category is this, guys? Well, we're going to choose education. And my questions are already written. No, they're not. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, hit the question mark over here. But you can write questions and then upload them. Now, on the left here, we have one question at a time, classic, which shows all the questions on a page at once. And conversation, turn your survey into a chat conversation, which would be pretty cool. But we don't really need that because we have Dojo. So we're going to go one question at a time. Let's select this, go down here, create survey. Again, I'm going fast because you can pause and rewind the video on YouTube. And we don't want our video to be super long. So uh, right here at the top, this is kind of what we call your breadcrumbs or your step-by-step -step process of how to use a survey. We'll be working our way through this in this video so you can see all those features. And then down here is your uh, question screen. On the left, you have a question bank. So there's like uh, um, pre-made questions over here if you like that. And there's all kinds of other features over here. Some of these features aren't going to be available because um, this is the free version. So here's our title we just created. Did you receive a packet week 30 and 31 video example? You can change that right here in the, um, in the uh, survey editing window. So let's go down to question number one. Question number one is we want to know the student's first name and last initial. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Initial. There we go. And the type of answer is going to be a single text box. We just want them to type right in there, single text box. It doesn't need to be a paragraph. And um, we're going to go ahead and save that. That's question number one. Now we're going to go to new question, question number two. Question number two is going to be, I receive my packet in person in San Luis. Notice it's not a question, so over here in the choices of responses, I'm going to choose the check boxes because I want them to just say yes or no. Check boxes, and the type is going to be yes or no. What that means is when they're re viewing the survey, there'll be a box for yes and a box for no, and they'll check it. Okay. Uh, we're going to go down here. It's showing you that these are the two boxes, and they're just going to click it. Yes or no. Okay. And look at that. You can even reverse the order. 
All right, so you can save it again, or you can just hit next question and it automatically saves it. So next question. I received my packet online via Class Dojo. Whoops, Dojo. And again, this is going to be checkbox, yes or no. Select the type, yes or no. When you guys have time, take a look through all those options. There's some really cool surveys you can set up, all kinds of great questions. Again, fifth grade is going to use this for our, our um, or we can use it for our uh, parent conferences. So we can set times in here as questions and let people fill them out. All right, next question, question number three. This is the one we hope they don't select. I did not receive a packet online or in person. Okay, and again, this is checkbox, yes or no. We got two here. What if we take it? Oh, I was just taking a look at that. I would like to make it just one. Um, I did not receive a packet online or in person. There, we can just make it yes. And on the other questions, we can make it yes as well. So I think that would be better. And I'm going to show you how you can go back and edit a question. So, yes, I did not receive a packet online or in person. I better capitalize the not, right? I did not. And check this out. You can highlight it. You can bold it. You can underline it. So, SurveyMonkey has some really cool, um, you can insert pictures, video clips. has some really cool features. You can do whole lessons through this. And maybe I'll do some more advanced videos later on. All right, so that is the four question survey we created. I'm going to go ahead and save. <clears throat> and now what we can do is edit these questions. We can review them. So I saved all my questions. We're still in design survey here. I can go up here and I can edit these questions. I received my packet online via Class Dojo. Let's edit that. We only wanted to say yes. And if they don't, uh, if they didn't receive it online, then they're going to choose skip as an answer, which is an option for them, by the way. Let's save that. Go up here. I was packet online. I received my packet in person in San Luis. Get rid of the no. Let's save that. Okay, and student first name and last initial. You see that? So it's going to go right there. We're going to fill out this survey, and I did not receive a packet online. Yes. Okay. And then we click done. Now we are done with this survey. At the bottom, uh, as the parents and students are filling out the survey, there's going to be a done button. You can call it done or finished. You can name it whatever you want. A previous button to go back to the previous question, and a next button to go back to the next uh, question. So I'm going to put previous just for our, our SEI people out there. Preve might not um, be as uh, translated as well for them. So I'm going to click save and now we are done. Totally done. So what we can do is hit next to go to preview and score. And now we're on the preview and score. This is previewing the survey. Did you receive a packet? Question one, question two, question three, and question four. And then they'll hit done right there. Um, let's go on to the next screen. Collect responses. So how would you like to collect your responses to your survey? We're not going to use this right side over here. We're going to use this one because we can uh, send our survey via email embed them in a website, or share a link on social media. And that's what we want to do. We want to be sharing a link. So we select this option here. And here are your choices. You can send it the survey to the parents by email or staff members. But what we're going to do is share a link. Get the web link. We click this. And it's showing us a big web link right here. All right. If you have the paid option, like $5 a month option, you can customize this link to say exactly what you want it to say. But that's not really important. We're going to hit copy. 
now the link is copied to your clipboard that's basically inv an invisible space and it means you can paste this link wherever you want to go so now we'd go to class dojo over here we go to your classroom go to your messages type a cool message like hi guys oh whoops wrong one you say something like hey everyone i hope you're doing well here is a survey to help you help us determine if everyone got the packets for week 30 and week 31 that's this week and next week please click on the link and fill out the survey thanks Psh, they click on the link so when i press Control v or for those of you who don't have a keyboard you right click and hit paste or are not comfortable with a keyboard you can right click now the paste shortcut is Control v and just so you know a quick lesson right here any of these uh, mouse options, the keyboard shortcuts are always listed on the right. So there you go, Control V, and that would be the link to my new survey. But I'm not going to post it because I've already done one. Um, but that's how you post a link. So once again, we'll walk through this. We we uh, designed the survey, we previewed it, and um, we copied the link and posted it in Dojo. Now, as they fill out the uh, survey you're going to want to go to analyze results now since this is just a demo survey I'm going to go to my real survey so I'm going to go back to my surveys and um, once you guys post your survey you're going to go uh, and take a look at your survey and look at analyze results so right now I have a total of six responses the survey is still open and this is giving us a uh, little bar graph there's all kinds of cool features but what I want to do is go to total responses and what I can see is how many people said yes they received their packing in San Luis so I got four right now and one person said no they didn't get it in uh, San Luis um, this is in percentages you can probably change this to uh, Oh, how you can send, uh, sort your data. Question two, I received my packet online. Four people got it online. And I did not receive anything yet. One person. So obviously I'm going to need to know who this is. So what is your student's um, first and last name? Now, as, since this is a free version, they're going to be um, asking us to upgrade to do different things but we don't want that right now so what i'm going to do is just hit this little x boop turn it off and right now i didn't get anyone's name this was my fault i posted the uh, first name last name in initial too late so uh you guys will do it much better than me and have great success i hope this video helps you out have a good one i'll post more later peace